There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Just getting started today. Our workshop is a mess. We got welding projects. We got walking cooler builds. And whenever I got a lot of projects, it ends up being a mess. Just trying to figure out what I need here to take to work with me. Just got a bucket full of tools. Gloves, grinder, drill gun. All right, I made it to work. And today I'm going to be continuing to work on this trailer that I'm converting into a walk-in cooler. It's basically a big refrigerator. I have a tarp over it because the roof part is not secure yet and it's not watertight. We're supposed to have really good weather. Well, it's not supposed to rain. So that's gonna give me some time to hopefully get a lot a lot of this done Yesterday I started grinding off some of the stickers and decals that I had on there and really just to kind of get it ready for paint Still gutting this trailer out my goal today is to get all the wood out I really didn't want to get all the wood out, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to do that because some of the wood is kind of rotting. And I don't want any mold in here. I got to take all the side wood out. I was hoping I could keep that. Plus it's part, it's kind of like particle board. I don't really like that kind of wood, especially when you're going to have to deal with possibly getting wet from sweating. You know, the, this fridge might sweat. And so it's best to use treated wood. We have some wood rotted out right here. Even the floor right here is all kind of water, rotted out. Looks like there was some water damage here. And the wood is kind of soft. Here it looks pretty good. This wood looks really good, but I do not like this kind of wood. need to unplug these lights first because I'm going to replace them anyways. Yeah, yeah we got some mold moldy wood here. They're just like, looks like some scab pieces. It's all soft. To me it looks like this has maybe gotten an accident one time. It looks, this looks all dented right here. Those look straighter. I mean this aluminum looks really good from the inside. From what I see, it's just this little dent right here. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. We have these bolts here, and these bolts are holding on the, the wheel wells here. So, which, but what was making it tight was that the wood is right here. So I might have to keep a piece of, maybe at least one piece of wood here that goes straight across. And so we're gonna put the foam the insulation right on top of this, and then build that out to uh, about four inches thick. Ideally, you do not want the wood behind here. But because of those bolts are holding onto that wood, it's, it's holding everything together. I might have to include it. I think definitely though, the roof, the ceiling here, needs to have uh, the quarter inch plywood because I think also that's, that's helping with the structure of this thing because it's not, you know, it's a small trailer so it's not, ter I feel like it's not terribly built well. Um, and if I do delete that quarter inch plywood up here, like if it rains or something, it might possibly indent in here. And I think that wood is kind of helping that with that. Oh, get talking home, baby. Oh, get talking home, baby. We go home talking around this town. The air unit is gonna go 
right there. We gotta cut that out eventually once I get the air unit. That's what I'm talking about here, the scab pieces. I think I need to keep these on this other side here. I mean, not that, we don't need these. I don't like this. It's like some of it's soft and you can see all the way through. And this goes all the way through. How am I gonna fix that? It just seems simpler if I just replace this whole thing. The floor is not coming out as I hoped. You know, even though you unscrew it or a screw gets stuck and it's all rotted out, I mean, you gotta take, sometimes you gotta take a saw to it and use a hammer and crowbar and just kinda <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. There we go. There we go. Woo! Woo! All right, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Man. All right, now we can put a brand new floor on this. Okay, so why don't they make these a full sheet of 4x8 plywood. I'm literally cutting off a little sliver at the end here and cu cutting off a little sliver at the end here about that much. Why not just make it a full sheet? I don't know, whatevs. I love these track saws because they have some rubber at the bottom of this so it's kind of, um, it doesn't slip. But I still like to use a clamp because it's still, it's not perfect. Because I don't have a long enough track, I need to do kind of like that and just kind of do my best to make it straight. I just put the flex seal on this. This is the bottom of the trailer. And then I'm gonna paint the top of the trailer, which is gonna be facing up on the inside. I just got notification that it's supposed to get a rain shower in about 30 minutes. I need to put away my tools. I need to cover the trailer. I think this is on its own. This flex seal gets rubberized. It's not dry yet. It's a little bit tacky. Oh yeah, starting to rain. <laughs> just got it done. Just put my tools in. Man, I barely made it. Yeah, it's coming down now. Pour in. It stopped raining. Look at this flex seal. It's already beating up. I think that's what you want. Where it doesn't seep into the wood. It's still not dry, but it's already working. <laughs> We're picking our vegetables and then we're giving some to the pigs. Like these ones, they're all split and some of them started to mold on the vine because they've split. So we're just gonna pick them for the pigs. Ooh, that one's for us. Look at those pigs, they're staring me down. I'm coming. Here piggy, piggy, piggy. food scraps for the pigs, plus their next, their last half of the, the feed there. I usually been giving them about half the bucket. Um, half, I've been, usually I've been giving them half the feed in the morning and then the rest at night. Plus food scraps. Excuse me, pigs. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Let me put it down. Pushy girls, let me tell you. When they're hungry, they're hungry. I'm gonna let them be for tonight. Usually I lock been locking them up. Just all the reason why I lock them up at night is because I just do not trust pigs. I don't want them to get away, get out in the middle of the night or something. But I really do not see signs of them escaping. I mean, I got this portable fence hot. I may regret saying that, but I think they're all right. Oh, 